Today we're going to be looking at the Orion Star Shoot G3 Deep Space Imaging CCD camera. All right, so I picked this camera up off of eBay for about $223. It sells on um, Orion's website at telescope.com for about $400. And basically what you get is you get a CCD camera like this, okay? Um, it's got your uh, USB B plug, male plug. It's basically a USB male type B that plugs into your CCD camera. And the other end is a USB male A cable that plugs into your laptop. And then the next thing you got on your uh, CCD camera is your power plug. This controls the uh, temperature on your fan so that you can um, control the control the temperature so that you don't get supposedly um, noise or pixels in your images and stuff. Um, and then the last thing on the CCD is your um, auto guider. You can use this as an auto guider if you want it to. Um, you plug in your, your auto guider cable that plugs into your uh, telescope and then that club that plug plugs into the CCD. And then there's software that you can get for this uh, camera. Now I had to download um, some software. I don't remember what it was. Uh, when, when I inserted the disc into my laptop, I uh, ran through the install and it asked me to go online and get a software for this camera that did not was, that was not included with the CCD. Uh, but after installing it, um, you get a software disc. Uh, when you install it, you have to install this driver first. Now, this has the software you need to be able to take your pictures and whatnot. Um, and it's a really simple install. In fact, I'm surprised people still have to use a CD-ROM drive instead of an optical drive. But anyways, you get one of these uh, CDs which you put in your computer and you basically run through the setup. And you'll probably need internet to download a software for this. Uh, I'm not too sure about the firmware. I don't trust firmware updates because they are known to cause problems. Uh, the other thing that you get is a manual. This here is the, the manual. Hopefully it's in focus for you guys to see. This is a manual. And um, if we go to page oh, 22, 22 and 23, I don't know how well I can see that. Probably can't see it too well. Um, but this here is the specifications and whatnot um, of the camera itself. And then also what you do get is a power cable, like uh, a data transfer cable. This here is the, hopefully I can get this out. This here is the B plug. This is the USB B plug is what this is. Hopefully I'm in focus. This is a USB male B plug. Uh, actually some printers use this type of cable as well. And then the other end which plugs into your laptop is a USB male A cable. This would plug into your laptop port. And then you also get a power cable, um, which is a lighter plug. It's a lighter plug. It plugs into your lighter in your car. I know some uh, battery packs actually use a lighter plug, but you can also get a aftermarket power adapter from Orion for about, like I think, 20 or 30 $40, something like that. I think it's like 20 bucks or something like that. Um, Anyways, I haven't got to use this yet. I'm planning to use it with a Celestron Power Seeker 80 EQ with a Star Seeker 4 uh, go to mount from Orion. Now, for some of you guys who are in astrophotography and also astronomy, what I just said I'm going to use this with, you probably already know the outcome of what's going to happen. Um, I do believe that I'm not going to be able to get focus probably with that telescope. It is a 900, 900 uh, focal length. And I think the F ratio is like F11. So there could be some problems trying to use this CCD with my telescope. But uh, I figured I'd give it a try. If I have to, I guess I'll just have to get a different telescope that will actually be able to achieve focus with um, the CCD. Anyways, that is pretty much it. Feel free to become a subscriber of this YouTube channel yet if it's even remotely possible for me to use this CCD camera. Um, with the uh, telescope that I have currently. I will try to do some videos of me putting images 
um, into a video and sharing them on YouTube. Uh, I tried to take it out the day that I got it. I got it on February 6, 2017. I wasn't able to take it outside because of the clouds that were outside. So hopefully another night I'll get to do some video on this in the near future. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions for me, you can leave them in the comments below. If you haven't become a subscriber yet, become a subscriber and stay tuned for more videos that I do on astronomy and whatnot.